The discovery of a gas field initiated the construction of the Senkong Power Station. In stiff international competition, ABB Power Generation won the contract to construct a 130 megawatt combined cycle gas turbine plant near the town of Senkang in Sulawesi, Indonesia. After ocean carriage from Rotterdam to Singapore, Jumbo Land transported the heavy lifts from the Singapore Container Terminal to a new to be constructed landing site in the Santa Renea River by barge. Two 93 ton gas turbines, 99 ton generators, 60 ton transformers, and other heavy lifts, including the required transport equipment to carry the pieces from the barge to site, were loaded and prepared for the trip to Pampanua, which is located along the river embankment 14 kilometers from the job site. Detailed surveys proved that the roads from Ujung Panjang as well as from the nearest port in Parepare were not suitable. An alternative method was investigated via the San Renea River, which runs along the public road near Pampanua. Still a few problems had to be solved. The suspension bridge across the river with a clearance of approximately 6 meters and some high tension wires with a similar air draft. To carry the heavy lifts by barge via this river seemed to be the best alternative, although the air draft under the bridge and wires depended on the rainfall. The water depth at the river entrance was only sufficient during spring tides and greatly limited the periods in which the barge ships could be executed. A few weeks before the arrival of the first barge ship, a landing jetty was prepared in the embankment of the San Renea River near Pampanua with the help of a local contractor. From there it was only 14 kilometers to the job site and we had to cross one major and five smaller bridges. While the barge was on its way from Singapore to Sulawesi, we were confronted with the first problems. Despite the initial verbal approval of the local authorities in Ujung Panjang that we could pass the bridge three kilometers from the jetty, they withdrew their permit and we had to reinforce this bridge before we were allowed to cross over. Steel I-beams were welded to the bottom of the main bridge girders. These were supported on a timber and steel plated foundation at one end, while at the other span we had to build up a foundation of sandbags in the river. After 10 days of hard work, both spans were reinforced and we were ready to start the transport. And then we turn in like that. After the traffic go pass, we continue. Oh, you must stop Lulu from Tara to see Did you stop seeing in Lulu? Yes, yes, we stop. We stop on this place. The generator was hydraulically lifted from the supports and rolled off from the barge on the 24th of April, early morning. The local police and district chief did not allow us to transport a generator across the bridge as we still did not have the required permits from the authorities in Ujung Panjang. We convinced them though that we could transport the first load to a temporary parking place 500 meters before the bridge and stay there standby until the permits were issued. It was a very narrow road and only small passenger cars could pass the 5 meter wide support beams. High tension wires were shut off and other wires raised to allow the 5 meter high load to pass. The next day we went to the road authorities in Ujung Panjang to get the transport permits. Again problems. 
One of the engineers came along to inspect the bridge reinforcement. Could not agree on the methods we had used. Despite extensive calculations and proposals to prove the safety of the bridge crossing, they did not issue us the required permits. Kampuan yang setelah ada penambahan ini, karena sebetulnya perhitungan dia tanpa penambahan apa perkuatan perkuatan itu pun sebenarnya sudah kuat. Even a typed-out, stamped, signed and sealed declaration of Jumbo did not help. Again, call to Ujung Panjang, and we made plans how we could convince the authorities of the safety of this operation. Do you maybe have a, a spray can, so that we can mark the points, and then, you know, they stay on the, on the level? Yeah, and then right just beside here. Both heavy-duty tractors were positioned on each span of the bridge, and by means of a level instrument, the maximum deflection of 9 mm was measured. 3, 3, 6. So together, all together with the two tractors, only uh, 9 mm deflection. 1333. Three, three. By means of a mobile satellite phone, we made an appointment with the authorities in Ujung Panjang and finally convinced them that the reinforcement work on the bridge was sufficient. <laughs> As the man in charge was not in office, a declaration for the local authorities was prepared, and again we were on our way back to Senkang, a distance of 190 kilometers. Same. Same. All talk talk. <laughs> yes. And uh, they say maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I said not, not tomorrow. Today we want to transport. Yeah. Finally, on the 29th of April, we received a verbal go-ahead and started the transport of the first generator across the bridge. While the bridge was crossed with a gross vehicle weight of 146 tons, we measured a maximum deflection of only 10 millimeters. It was a breakthrough. The local district chief, police and army chiefs were all relieved that we passed the bridge safely. Finally, we could continue with the transport of the 99-ton generator loaded on a 13X line Cometo platform trailer. The local police escorted us all the way and directed traffic backwards or in the roadside. The other bridges were passed safely as well. At 9.30 in the morning, we arrived at the job site and offloaded the first generator on timber blocks. The empty trailer returned to the barge. The second generator was loaded and rolled off. During this operation, the bow of the barge was grounded and made the roll-off operation quite easy. We were not the only ones involved in a heavy transport operation. The local community moved a complete kampong house over a distance of approximately 500 meters. Bamboo sticks were attached at shoulder level in horizontal direction between the support legs of the house. And the complete structure was lifted on the shoulders of approximately 150 men. A new roof was made of palm tree leaves. The second generator moved on smoothly arrived on the job site that same evening around 7 o'clock. It was already quite dark at the time we arrived and for safety reasons we decided to carry only one piece per day during daylight hours only. The next load was a 60 tons transformer. Due to the tight storage on the barge, we could just clear the support beams of the other loads by raising the trailer to its maximum elevation. The support structure underneath each span of the bridge will remain in place 
until the four heavy lifts of the steam part are transported to site in October 1997. Due to heavy rainfall, the job site roads were very slippery and muddy. Especially the access road to the transformer foundation required a very tight turn and could only be made with the assistance of a bulldozer and excavator. The 5 meter long steel support beams remain in place during transport from bars to site. It facilitates the loading and unloading of heavy lifts onto supports without the need of a crane. While we were busy in transporting both generators and transformers to site, the ABB crew had in the meantime positioned the first generator on the foundation and cleared the unloading bay for the first 93 ton gas turbine. Despite extreme site conditions and tight maneuvering space, Jumbo managed to transport all 10 heavy lifts of this bar strip safely to site. In May and June, two extra bar strips with general cargo were executed, and the remaining four heavy lifts for the steam part will be barged and transported to site in October 1997. 